everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am simply key so really quick i am filming from an old samsung s9 phone <laughs> just because i do not feel like getting my camera out i don't feel like i don't feel like setting i don't i don't feel like doing it okay sometimes a girl don't feel like doing it and if i'm looking kind of orange i'm sorry i'm working with my warm lights and i don't feel like um I don't feel like putting in the daylights and I'm trying to figure out how to adjust I hope that's better for you guys but yeah I'm I'm just I don't want to so yeah we're gonna um talk about February but our budget for February our goals for February um what I plan on doing different for February so this is our February um I don't know what to call this <laughs> we're gonna call this our our February sit down for the for the beginning of the month we're gonna have and this is what I'm gonna start doing with you guys because I want to be accountable I'll bring you a video at the first of the month for the budget in the middle of the month just to say hey this is how everything's going and then at the end of the month we'll do a recap of everything and how everything went so this is our first of the month this is our sit down this is the preliminary part of february um so February, I plan to save $300. Now, I know I'm going to save more than that just because this February is income tax season and I know I'm going to have my check, but it's going in my savings account. So that money's not going to be touched. But outside of my income tax check, I plan on taking from my own paycheck $300. Um, my money goals that I want to try to get accomplished financially for the month of February is I need to get my breaks done. I don't know if I need breaks. If I don't need breaks, that money will go in my savings. But if I do need breaks, hey, um, definitely need tires. So I've already priced my tires. Um, I, I'm getting a great deal on my tires. Um, limit eating out to four times this month, which is going to be once a week. That's it, once a week. Um, so I have put myself on every Friday and it's just my way of saying that hey i made it through the week every friday going my budget is ten dollars now um that is going to be hard because um i do and and that and i don't know but okay so it doesn't have to be every friday but it does once a week i'll eat out something for me and my budget for that is ten dollars I do have a cousin's day out that is yes that's a real day for me cousin's day out where we go have lunch or dinner and we talk and we like really communicate me and my husband have date night but that's included in a subscription we have with Cinemark we have we get free movie tickets every month and then I have dinner with my children like February the 14th we're having a dinner date that they are my dates for Valentine's Day so um aside of aside from that i have a time where i can eat out once a week and my only budget is ten dollars that's me let, let's say i want to go to i have i'm craving chinese food that's fine as long as i don't go over ten dollars which is kind of hard because a lot of places are super high now so i find myself sometimes in order to get what i want having to order kids meals which is fine because what i've noticed is the kids meals get me full and i've been losing weight y'all so i ain't complaining um plan family and date night um uh, family night could be here where we could be sitting in the living room watching the fire stick watching a movie um having some popcorn chilling with each other vibing out um date night is me and hubby going to the movies that's our day night um pack lunches for work that is what I am going to be consistent in doing, which is packing lunches from work, not ordering food to get delivered, not going to the vending machine, packing a lunch, um, which I find is easy for me. It's, it's, it's getting easier for me. January, it wasn't so much easy, but I feel like February is going to be easy for me because I'm starting to get back into like fruits and vegetables and salads and stuff. So I have no problem making a salad, packing an apple for breakfast, 
banana for a snack or orange, a smoothie drink. I'm getting ready to purchase a juicer so I can make my own juices to take to work and help, you know, because I'm on this health journey as well. So those are my five goals for the month of February. And hopefully they'll help me um, kind of curve my spending. I do plan on um, building up my sinking fund in this month it starts this month you felt like well why didn't it start in january because january was my birthday month and let's i went spending crazy um because i knew it was my birthday month so my second funds start in february um and i'll be contributing to back to school christmas and car maintenance um another thing let's see so I want to show you what I'm going to have going on versus me just talking to you guys. I want you to see it. So I'm going, we're going to flip over to the planner portion of this. <laughs> okay. So for February, it is take car in, spend less, only eat out four times, plan weekly, weekly, what? Oh, plan weekly meals and my nail appointment. So it also says continue to be pre. What it says? Yeah, I can't read my own writing. It says continue to be pro proactive with not buy buying any clothes, wigs. Make sure any purchase made is not wanted and it's needed and makes sense so basically what i'm saying is if the purchase doesn't make sense and i just want it versus needing it i'm not going to get it period and i have decided to um kind of give myself this like thing that i need to tell my ask myself why do i want it what do i need it for am i going to use it versus just picking it up and buying it just because so um my goal for my savings is to save 347 and my paydays are on the 14th and the 28th and i have all the bills that have to be paid what day they have to be paid which is not really important my expenses as you can see are so far clear but this is the beginning of the month and i plan on not covering at least this whole sheet last month i had both sides covered this month i plan on not doing that i plan on being very cautious with my money and very um um careful with my spending i'm not saying that i'm not gonna fill in some of this but i at least want to just have this much filled this much filled in versus a whole page um my monthly bills that's all my monthly bills, my rent, my lights, my gas, my cable, my cell phone, uh, my credit cards. Um, I need to add Cinemark on there because Cinemark is a bill now. It is a subscription service. I don't know if I have YouTube on there, but it's taken out of my Verizon account, which makes my bill what it, it, what it is. Um, I think my bill is like $3.96. Which is almost a car note. I know you don't have to tell me because I already know. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have that on there though. Cell phone. Yeah. So this month it was four ten, so I have to pay four ten. But that's because I think I have my um I have my YouTube thing coming out of there and my Amazon Prime coming out of there. Um, but I definitely need to put Cinemark here because Cinemark is $9.99. That's just for me and hubby for our day nights. Um, just to have, you know, time within ourselves. So, yeah. That is what is going on with February. Like I said, my goal is to... Hold on, guys. Like I was saying, my goal is to spend less, save more this uh, month. And while I'm sitting here, I'm going to put in Cinemark. I hate to do that with the pen. With the pen, I like doing stuff with pencils. So let me write that in. With, oh gosh, let me write that in with my trusty pencil. So it's due on the twenty fifth of every month. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
$2.25. This pencil is giving me problems and I don't understand why. There, $2.25. And the amount is, see now it's, it's $9.99. And at Cinemark. So yeah, I'm um my my goals, like I said for the year, is to save thirteen thousand dollars, pay my car note off in two years, and at least by the end of this year have all credit card debt gone. I plan on paying all credit cards credit cards in full. Not saying that that's gonna be easy, but um it shouldn't be hard me either. If I just stick to my budget and stick to my goals. I, like I said, I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. This is, oh, this right here, the this area is where I not only, like if I spend that day, I put like a little coffee cup or some type of signal, let me know, hey, you spent money that day. But I also write it, around, write it down in the spence tracker. So my goal is to not have that sheet full at all, y'all. It's hard. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say it's easy. I'm a shopaholic. So everything I see, I want. And I'm um, trying to learn to be content with the things that I already have. And I know I should be. But when you honestly to a guy have a problem, that is hard to do. And I it has been taking everything in me and a lot of prayer and a lot of like trying to rearrange the way I think about things and reevaluating things to kind of put me in a place of that I don't need to buy every little thing. And I've been doing good with clothes. I've been doing good with shoes. I've been doing good with wigs because y'all know that's my juice. I love me a good wig, honey. I've been doing good with those things, but it, that shopaholic addiction has now turned to like food. So I'm that's gonna be one of those goals for me this month. Not not eating out as much and not putting myself on a budget of when I go get something to eat. Once a week I can go to Wendy's, which is not good for me either. So that's another reason I need to stop because the places I eat out at eat out at are not good for me at all. Um, so yeah, y'all know I'm gonna take y'all on this journey. Y'all know I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Y'all know I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. I'm gonna give y'all every part of this journey, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because if I'm not being 100% honest with y'all, then I'm not being 100% honest with myself. And I'm not about to do that. If I wasn't gonna really be honest with you guys, I should not have brought you guys along on this journey so yeah um i'll be back towards the middle of the month to let you guys to kind of give you an update on how i'm doing mid mid month of february and how everything's going and what i've been able to accomplish and then at the end of the month i'll come back with a wrap up of february to see how everything um how everything panned out i feel like february is going to be good i think it's going to be awesome um i'm looking forward to it so yeah I'm going to get out of here. Remember, if nobody told you you're beautiful, remember Simply Key will always tell you beautiful because you simply are. And this is our preliminary budget talk for February. I'm going to get out of here. Bye.